Hi guys. Okay, today we have something a bit different. Um, we know how much you like number blocks, so we thought we'd try and make them in Minecraft. Now I've already set up the settings for this, it's just using a super flat world with no weather conditions and you can see here it's just a, a blank desert giving us lots of space to make our number block one. As you may know, in creative mode as well, it gives you the chance to use any blocks to fly around, making it really easy for us to design and make our number block one. So first of all, I want to try and find a block which is the right kind of red for number block one. Uh, so I'm going to pick a few here and uh, lay them down and then we can compare the red colour and see which one suits the best. So it's been a while since I've played Minecraft. As you can see I'm, I'm trying to find the, uh, the wool, the red wool. Because I think that's quite a nice colour red. Uh, so far I've chosen uh, the red concrete which I'm thinking might be the best colour. So what have we got here? Ah, the box. Let's have a look at this box. This is a new, this is, it's been a while since I've played and this is a new addition. A shulker box. Get used to the PlayStation controls again. Here we go. All right, so no. That, that one's not going to work, so forget that. Red concrete. Right. Just going to get some sand and refill in this hole, a nice flat floor for us. Red terracotta, let's try that one. That's our number one choice. That's an okay, an okay colour of red. It might be alright, we'll try that. Next, let's try some red concrete. See how that goes. A couple of those blocks down. It's a deeper red. I think that one's a, my favourite so far. I think soon we'll be able to start building. Let's try a little bit of wool. See if that's any good. See the red. The red's quite nice, but I think um, the texture on it is not quite right for number block number one. So, yeah, we're going to go with the uh, red concrete. Let's get rid of this. Fill it back in with some sand again. Right, and there we go. Okay, let's get building. Now, I think I'm going to make this 13 squares by 13. Four, five. Right, that's too many. Now, I think I've just done 14 there. Let me just see. That's 13. Fourteen. Oh, okay. I think I have fourteen in one direction and thirteen in the other. Let's just check this row. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, thirteen. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look from above and see if it looks square. It 
It looks square. I still think it's not quite right. Let's just see if we can check these walls again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right. So let's get rid of this row and bring this one back this way. Great, now that should be a perfect square. Let's have a look again from up above. Yep, I think that's pretty perfect. Right. Now we're going to have to go 13 squares up too. Now I'm going to start filling the walls in here. All the way around. So it's going to be 13 squares cubed because it's 3D. So we have 13 squares across the X, Y and Z axis. Now this might take some time so you can watch it straight through if you like. Or you can maybe jump ahead. See where I'm up to. Right, let's get 13 of these up. Looks weird, but I think it's right. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how quickly I can get the rest of these blocks stuck in the walls and make our red cube. We're ready to put the face of number one on the blocks. So here we go. Now if you're doing this at home and you miss a few blocks out on the on the walls as you go around. I add extra ones in just like that. So we can always come back instead of stopping, you can always come back round and catch it on the next on the next lap. Here we go, and there's an extra one, we'll leave that there, keep going. All the way round. I hope someone's keeping count. I'm not keeping count, I'm just gonna keep sticking these blocks in and see where we get up to. It can get quite hypnotic sticking these blocks in, so uh, remember to keep blinking, don't forget to blink. There we go, we're about halfway, we're more than halfway now. Now let's have a look at this from a different angle, make sure this is looking like a square still. I think we're going to leave the inside hollow. I did think about filling the entire block to a solid red block, but then I thought those extra blocks in the middle are just going to take too long. So, and once it's finished and you've got a nice hollow block, you can't tell the difference anyway, it's fine. Maybe you want to store something inside, you could do that. I mean, if you play Minecraft a lot, maybe you could even make a number one house. Put a door in there on the back. You can make a whole town of the number blocks. I guess number 10 would be a skyscraper. Now we'll get to number 10. Uh, we have number 1 now. We'll probably follow up with number block number 2 in a day or two. And we'll try and work our way through all the way up to number 10. Judging by the size of this one, number 10 will be massive. I 
think we've only got one, whoops, one more row to go after this one and then we'll put the roof on top. Oops, lazy. And this is the final layer. Looking good. Nice and square. get to the right height and here we go we're on the fight <laughs> when I stop falling to the floor we'll get this final level done here we go all the way around oops all the way around and that's it now those are the walls finished. Now a quick back and forth here and we'll get this roof done. Here we go, get myself lined up. Right. Across and back, across and back again all the way to the end. I think this is going quite well. And I imagine this number one is going to be the quickest of the bunch. Last row, here I go. And that's it. Now we have our perfect equal square. 13 blocks down the side, up the side, and around the back. And there we go. If we move and have a look from this angle, we'll see it's a nice red square. Let's go in a bit closer. Next. I think if we head up to the top of the cube, we can put number one's number one on top. So here we go. Right, so I need to find the center, or roughly the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I need a black, so what's this one over here? Block of coal. I think I can find something of less texture. I don't know what's this. Black terracotta, this will do. Great. Now let's make a number one. Very high, let's have a look. We'll do a couple and we'll step back and have a look, see if it's the right kind of height. Okay, good, let's smash this one. There we go, and we've got a nice floating number one above our number one. look here for a, like a brownie or a different shade of red because if you notice on number one's face his eye and his mouth have a different color around the edge so I think I'm going to try this orange terracotta uh, and we'll see if that works so first thing is I think we need that's looking, uh, that's looking okay now let's work out how many blocks we need to smash away to make the eye shape and find the center too. Hmm, that's a bit off center, we'll add an extra one. He's got a big eye, and that's going to work. Let's do this symmetrically now, all the way. I think that's looking good. And to 
get that circle shape, we're going to have to go another block further out, take that down a bit, and then come back in. There we are. I think that's looking okay. And then we'll add the final bottom. Oops. We'll add in the final bottom row. There we go. Before smashing away the center, I'm going to put in the edge just to mark it out, and then I can keep an eye on making sure we're getting this eye looking like number one's eye. Whoops, just around the edges. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. Near the bottom, and we're nearly done. Now it's time to smash it away. Okay, I'm going to use block of quartz, I think. Let's have a look for the best kind of white. And I'm building things before, I always tend to go for a quartz colour. It's just kind of a nice white colour, it's not got a weird texture, it's, it's alright. But you can try your own, whatever you fancy. Try some snow. You could have snow in his eye. Or... Wool? Mm, not those boxes. I'm going to go back and get that block of quartz. Great, and I'm going to use that for the white of his eye. This shouldn't take too long. Just a couple more blocks. And I know I'm going to have to smash away the ones for his actual pupil in a minute, but I like to see the whole thing as a circle. I think that's okay. I'm going to be... Yeah, well, there we go. I'm going to get rid of these. And I'm going to put number one's eye in this gap. And I'm just going to use black terracotta for that one. Here we go. A bit lower down. There we go. I can put this in here. Great. And I think that's looking pretty good. So the final thing is his mouth, which I'll do next. And you may have noticed I've not done any arms or any legs this time. I haven't done them yet. I might have a go. As an update video, perhaps, um, I just thought this time around, it was a bit tricky to kind of get him to stand up on those legs. The leg, they've got the very kind of rounded shape, the legs and the arms on the number blocks. Um, so, first things first, I was going to get the shape of the main body. And then if enough people want me to try, I can give it a go and see if I can add some legs and arms too. But let's see. Now, the shape of the mouth I'm going to do is a kind of... A smile like a, to one side of his face. If you look at some pictures of uh, number block number one, you'll see this is quite a regular face he has. So let's see, I'm going to put this orange terracotta around the edge of his mouth, his lips. And then, well, it's hard to tell at this point if that's the right kind of shape, so let's fill it in and see if it works. Just a few more blocks. Oops. And we can add... Well, I think number block one on this picture has a white tooth, I think. So I'm going to stick some white in the middle and a tiny bit of black around the edge, I think. Let's see if that works. 
And let's see if that makes it look like number one's mouth. Okay, let's see. It's looking okay. I think if I put a black at either edge, one up here and one down there. Yep. Yeah. With some white in the middle. I think I can make this look like number one's mouth. There we go. I'm going to take an extra block off here. I think it wants to be floats a bit higher. And there we go. I think that's pretty good. So we'll have a look at this from a few angles. I think that's a nice number, block number one. If you want to try it at home, give it a go. See if you can make yours look a bit better. Maybe get like a, a nice rounded edge on there, perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, give it a shot. And then let us know either post your own video, let us know in the comments, send us a picture, even we can put that in our videos too. I think that's uh, it's done. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for number block number two, which will be coming quite soon. Okay, and that's all. Bye. Guys, remember to like and subscribe. What do you like to see next?